Hello everyone, welcome back. So today I'm doing this quick video because I am in the beautiful city of Scottsdale, Arizona. And I wanted to show you why it's so, or why I recommend people when they're going to do their roof, especially on a flat roof, but it applies to any roof, that they do replace the air conditioners at the same time. I know it's a lot of a big expense, but this person, it, it can save you money down the road. This person had <clears throat> um, pretty much ponding in here underneath AC. And you see this is where the big AC used to sit. And the ponding was going on and leaking into the house. And the reason for that is, is if if you get the roof done without doing the AC, the roofers cannot get underneath the AC. So you can have a new roof everywhere else, but not um, but not not underneath. And what can happen is. Because they can't get underneath, you know, you see here, you see where, you know, the roofers came up and they sealed up to here. And then this is what was underneath the AC. So you see this big lip and you can't see it that well at this angle, but I mean, it's going, it's probably about half an inch maybe even three quarter of an inch in some places where it's higher than underneath the AC so of course the water ponds underneath and it eventually will leak so <clears throat> just something to think about we do that a lot we like or we prefer that we work with the roofers side by side you see there's roofers over there they're doing their thing they're starting over there they're gonna make it here eventually but we like to work with the roofers hand, uh, side by side because if they come in before us, you're gonna get this. This is what's gonna happen, right? This is what's gonna happen every time. If they come in before us, a week, two weeks, a year, years before we come and replace AC, this is what you're gonna get every time. Ponding and leaking into the house. It may not happen right away, but it will happen eventually. Um, if we come in before them, it's not such a big deal because we can, you know, uh, leave it higher, maybe, you know, up to a foot higher so that they have plenty of room underneath. But the problem with that is if you didn't want the, you know, people to see your AC that much from the street, it's going to sit up pretty high, about a foot higher. And not a lot of people like to be able to see their AC from the street. Um, now when we're working hand in hand, well, then we can still set it at, you know, four or five inches above the surface only. Um, because we're going to remove it for them. They're going to come in here and do their thing. Uh, it's going to dry. And then we come in and set our a new AC on there. So, you know it really works very very well if they are able to come in here before uh, we can remove it just like we're doing here they're gonna seal up in here and then we set the new AC down and of course of course also another important thing I almost forgot is the ductwork even though it's insulated we insulate it very well or the guys that make it do um, there's nothing like them spray foaming it afterward so you get like double insulation and I mean it works out really really well so that's another important another or another bonus to it, it doesn't really need to be foamed because it's got insulation but I mean much much better insulated if it's also insulated on the outside so that's pretty much it um, if you want us to uh, help you out with this project send me a message you can give us a call and again we got two ACs we're doing on this house um, again right now it's not the finished product at all 
Again, we're just removing it, putting it off to the side so that they can do their thing. And then um, after they do their thing, it all dries. We'll come back and, you know, finish it all up. In the meantime, we seal everything on the inside. Well, that's pretty much it, all right?